And this next PSA topic, actually just for California buyers, there's actually a law, if you didn't know, that prevents landlords from rejecting your electric vehicle install. So just want to make a quick PSA out there that if you are buying, looking to buy a Tesla and you're worried about your apartment complex or your private home private home uh, rental agreement, they don't want you to put an electric charger in, you can actually pull up this law and I guess force them to. So let's take a look at it. But if you're just joining in, my name is Dennis and I love talking about Tesla deal hacking. So definitely hit that subscribe if you're interested. Shout out to Smart Plug EV for posting this and showing us about this actual law. If you're looking for electric vehicle chargers or electric vehicle charging installation in the LA, Los Angeles, or really over the SoCal area, definitely hit up Mario and ask for the Dennis deal for installation. Uh, Smart Plug EV is actually a Tesla authorized installer as well. So if you want to make sure you're all in line with warranty and everything like that, then definitely hit up Mario and ask for the Dennis deal. But he actually sent us this, which is the civil code 1947.6, which actually requires landlords to approve tenant requests to install EV charging stations in their dedicated spaces. This actually, he was actually talking to me about this because he had a client that actually lives in an apartment building that was pushing back hard on it and also another client separately that had an HOA that was also pushing back hard on it and they were able to both successfully use this law to get their those associations and those landlords to move allow them to install the charger. So just want to make this quick PSA as a video if you're in that area or if you're in the California area actually that is getting a hard time getting your charger installed, definitely pull this up and actually you can use this to your advantage. But definitely some cool stuff. Let us know what your thoughts on it. Let me know what you're thinking. We're going to jump into the live stream comments. But before we do that, this video is actually sponsored by my Patreon link. Top of the description is the Patreon link. Support the channel. Get access to the ultimate Tesla buying guide out there with all the best interest rates for financing your Tesla. All better than and Tesla financing. And we just found a credit union on this list that has interest rates as low as 3.99% that anybody can actually qualify for the credit union and anybody can join. So definitely check it out. Patreon link down below in the description. Pepper, sir, I bought a 2023 Model Y Performance, has high mileage, 18,000 mileage, but I bought it for 41K. Sounds like a great deal. Not too bad at all. Elon just posted a Cybertruck event tweet on X. Scott, thanks for that. Thanks for that. Let's take a look at what actually happened here. Did you guys see that The Rock actually has says he's never heard about the Tesla Cybertruck? So he just reposted this. That's funny. So this is the delivery event uh, email, uh, at least the infographic for it that was sent out to a bunch of people yesterday. So uh, if you applied for the lottery to get your invite, definitely check out your email to make sure you can get in for it. Habib, yeah, so if the new model could allow us to pre-order by the end of December so we can claim the tax credit this coming tax credit, season that would be dope yeah unfortunately it's based upon delivery or when you put it in use which is kind of like the same thing as delivery or is the same thing as deliveries so even if the new model came out next year or if the order bank came out like by the end of the year it's based upon delivery so unfortunately uh, you wouldn't be able to claim it for this year's taxes, which would you would file for next year. But don't fret because the tax credit is supposed to be point of sale next year, but the Model 3 is expected to lose some of that tax credit. It's supposed to go, some people are predicting, from 7500 down to 3750 If you were to ask Tesla, they feel like the current Model 3 is going to go down is going to go down half from half to uh, 7,500 down to 3,750, but they don't talk about the new Model 3. It feels like in Tesla USA, they don't really talk about the new Model 3 Highland at all, but you can see right here, it says some of the verbiage. Tax credit is expected to reduce to 3,750, which, and some people are thinking that it could go even lower by the year after that. But definitely some pretty interesting stuff. Thanks for coming in, everybody. Thanks for hitting the like button, the comments and everything. Definitely check out our Tesla accessory discount codes down below in the description if you want to save some money on Tesla accessories. we got 3D Mats USA for a premium floor mat for your Tesla. We have a set in our Model X. We got Vion for interior accessories. We got Jawa for the best interior accessories. And we got Mag back as well. So definitely check it out. Tesla accessories down below in or Tesla 
discount accessory codes down below in the description. And on top of that, we got a giveaway with Test Logic. So if you're interested in winning their Test Logic V2, head on over to our YouTube live page right here and then find this video that's which which has matte black in the thumbnail. So you can go ahead and enter into the giveaway, which actually ends this Saturday for the Test Logic V2 tesla accessory but thanks for jumping in everybody thanks for supporting thanks for hitting the like button the comments and everything and i'll see you guys in the next one see ya